when people when artists are feuding, what is uh Coop doing? Do Coop pick a side or got, do Coop just ain't got no side. So okay. I was in I was in at the height of a lot of that stuff I was I'm, moving around with uh Glock, but I'm a neutral person. So like I represent slept on. That's my brand. Okay. So I'm, that's me. I'm not paper but you route. Got, but you I'm got, not CMG. But you got burnt brands, but you're close to but you close to I'm close to a lot of people. Okay. But that's not my issue. You can't hold me accountable for none of the stuff that y'all going through. If you a live subscribe show, um it's another honor to be here. It feels good. Um it just feels great to still do what we do and be appreciated. You know what I'm saying? It's one thing to have your thing going on and it's like it's kind of like mediocre but like people really appreciate my platform so i can you know i can i can thank the one above uh god for that look this is what i want to say though i wanted to uh say this real quick before i go into my guest um sometimes we give people too much access to us you know what i'm saying as in like um you think you can freely call me when you want to um and it just seems like when I give you that access, you start trying to offend me. You know what I mean? Sometimes you don't know whether it's on purpose or you don't know whether they just, you know, got caught up in the moment. But but I think we can give people a little more access to us and it, it, it makes them a little more comfortable with you. You know, because it's all you always can say something to somebody that can offend them, but some stuff you just don't say. But when people like say it to you, like it's kind of like, uh, you just so uh, man. I'm kind of, I'm kind of removing my access. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And this ain't this ain't no status thing. This more of like a peace, uh, 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 energy type of thing. You know what I'm saying? Because you want the people to be around you with the right energy in this season because it's that season. But uh, man, shout out to uh my kids, man. I done chased this nigga down. <laughs> I finally got him. I got him here. Cool. What's up, baby? How you doing, man? Man, I'm doing good, Coop. Man, um, first I like really I respect you. You know what I'm saying? I respect you as a person. Yes, sir. Before I respect you as a DJ. For sure. Same and man, on. I just wanna um shout out to B King, man. Just yes, sir. lost just that quick and like I said, you again, for a person like me from Nashville, I didn't know who the early I didn't know who he was until Coop brought yes, him here. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. And brought him here. And so like, uh, have you checked on the family or how is that? That I even reached going. out. I mean, in the time, you know, when it's fresh, you just got to let people grieve and send your condolences. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, one thing I'm glad happened was we, you know, talk thoroughly okay. all the time. We always planning on new stuff and, um, you know, gave each other each other flowers while they was here. So what, it ain't, what ain't, made him, uh, and, and not to cut you off, but what made him connect with you and kind of deal because like i said when we even saw g give you the gold record you know what i'm yeah. saying just on another level what made him connect with you like he did uh like i said it's just it was crazy because i used to get his music prior to even meeting him mm -hmm. so like um uh, shout out to atl top 20 bishop he used to service records like through emails so in my earlier stages of djing i was just going through the new music that he was sending because that was just easy, like free music at the time. So from when I started DJing, it's a lot of download and it wasn't any streaming services or anything. So you really had to download the music. So I was skiing through those tracks and find what I like. And then just being around the colleges, and they was already playing this music that he created, which like his music always has been bigger than his appearance. Yeah. So now like just, Probably two years ago, people were like, oh, that's so. I was, I grew up in, in college, yeah, yeah. And like girls, like they. But um, I just was playing his music, like we, and I didn't meet him until I was on tour with uh, Starlito, and I met. We ran into each other at a studio session, which it was like Star, Sauce Walker, mm -hmm. Pro Propane, which he's from Houston, and B King was in there. And Star's like, I think go your boy. So I'm like, hey, Coop from the internet. Like, we, just, <laughs> we just locked in since then. Yeah. And I started booking him for shows. He always sent me uh, drops. And, you know, he 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 worked the DJ market. That was his thing. Yeah. So that's why you always heard his music. 
and because he messed with the DJs before you knew who he was. But 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 let me, and okay, so let me ask you this: being that like thing, like they always let the good ones go. Do you think your relationship was like closer with him because he did accept like what you was trying to do in the rap as you being the DJ? You know what I mean? Like yeah, as you being the DJ it. trying to yeah. So it's like and you got to understand he's coming from Texas and you're getting broke in a whole nother state market. X Y Z. You can generate money for. I booked him for shows yeah, like. I, at my own venues when I had mine. So in the in other venues around and if you got a good number, it's close to we made money together. Yeah. So uh when he brought he d- drove from Texas to bring me the the plaque. Well, you feel what? Yeah. I was at work. I'm in the, I'm DJing. I was cooking. I was doing everything. It was just uh one of those certificates of gratitude or uh Plaques and trophies, like it's, it's a good thing. It's a good feeling to be recognized for doing something that you do. What you think his legacy is going to be? What, what what do you think, like, with, with B. King, what do you think his legacy? Because um, he's one artist that, you know, people are not just bragging on him because he's gone now. Everybody been on, you know what I'm saying? Everybody I been think this last, book. Um, I did an interview with him two years okay. ago. And, uh, and his thing was being seen. Well, now he's getting recognized for the music that he's okay. put out prior. So I feel like he got that. I don't necessarily say all of the due diligence, but he got a taste of not necessarily the fame. He always see the, see the thing is he's been getting booked for all them years. Regardless, he had a show every weekend. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So, but to be noticed for your work. Okay. I think that's like that's a great thing. I think that's his legacy. Like people are known for the work. So now, if you didn't know, now it's like, oh, so now you can backtrack and go to through the catalog. How much does that? Um, if, if we getting into when we got these guys doing records and all that, like how much does it count when you are part of the record? As in, just like even with even with your label. I you mean, rap it sometime there. It just, I mean, if you got just, your paperwork right, it, okay. it count everything it on count. the back end. Okay. Um, but like being in the background and you know the tedious part of it, you you never you rarely gonna get anything out of it unless you get it up front. How do they um? How do they respect a person like you? This that's that's a DJ and that's really like see everybody don't know that coop. Just a, a freaking hustler, really. You know what I mean? In my book, you know what I'm saying? Who <laughs> just, Entrepreneur. Who, Negro. A freak, yeah, he, he's just a, a freaking hustler. And so how does people respect you as having a label? You know what I mean? I mean, it's easy for me. Um, even I got a DJ coalition slept on DJs, and I used to want to be a part of certain people's coalitions because okay. I respected them and how they like, ran their things. Who? Like? Uh, mm-hmm. bigger ranking, okay. Uh, cool running DJs, okay. DJ Scream, Hood Rich, yeah, Cause good ones. Um, yeah. those are like my only two because those was the only ones that took me in and was like hands on with me, and they respected my brand enough to be like, nah, you you not you can't get under me, mm, cause you know, <laughs> cause you, it's, it's kind of like you know a little too much. No, nah, like, it's or, like because you you're a boss. Okay, okay, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, it's like you're not necessarily knowing you. I was yeah, supposed to grow and yeah. know, but it was like. I was I can't put you under me. Mm. I'd rather put you beside me, me, yeah, and give you the green light rather than putting you under me. Because once you have somebody under you, you got to make sure they are doing certain things or put in position. But we just all ran together. We respect each other. We never collided. We make money together. And those are two of the OGs that I I I looked up to because they were slept on. Is that hot? Look. But uh, Coop, is that hard being being the actual person that people are looking to? Like, he know what the hell he doing? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's hard. And, 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 it's, and being it's in that hard. position, no, it's not hard. It's but I'm just saying people just, make it hard because they don't listen. Okay, so that's the hard part about it is my is we make it hard about my job when you don't listen because when you know too much, just it's just it it creates a problem. Uh, Eddie Valero is he on? He's on your label. Under my management, company. management. Oh, that's yeah. He has his own saying, label. What makes him trust Coop to say, "Hey, I can put this person on my team, and he's gonna take care of the business." I showed him, like when we first met, going on three years ago. 
Uh, we're both from the same neighborhood, uh, Orange Mound. And uh, we had mutual people that always wanted us to get together. Yeah. And we just met in the right time of both of our lives because I dealt with a lot of local talent from Nashville, yeah. and it always come to a dead end. Yeah. And I always was trying to have that, like, break an artist. Yeah, facts. So yeah. It, it it comes back on me like like I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do. So now... I, I'm showing like, bro, just li- just listen to me. I don't need I don't need no money. <laughs> I don't yeah. need nothing. Yeah. yeah, just listen. We gonna yeah. make money. That's and that's the thing about him. Well, we we link because he got bread, so it's like everybody was looking at him. I can do this, this, and this, and this, and this. It's gonna cost five thousand. Yeah. yeah, all you need to be is ready to move around <laughs> and and invest into this little small these things right here. Be ready to go. Just listen and be ready to go. Look, and I got uh I really got a lot that we're gonna we're gonna talk about tonight. But I wanna um I wanna bring this up because I want people to like, man, um, you know, I ain't been the best I ain't been the best person in the world. Like, you know what I mean? Like like I don't think like people like really know who Coop is. Like I don't think people people don't never like take the time to like <laughs> figure out exactly who a person is. They might take you might say something that somebody don't like. It might not even be towards them. It might just they be put how the shoe you feel. On the, it's, you know what I'm just, saying? And they'll just put their name on it. But for you, Coop, like, even, like, coming up as a kid, what was your life like then? Like, daddy and mama, just mama. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I was a single parent. My parents divorced. Uh, they was married, then they divorced. So it was just me, my brother, my mama. You know what I'm saying? We struggled a lot. Yeah. So... But nobody would know that if you know what I'm saying. If if the if they look at the coop confidence, you know what I'm saying. Uh, yeah, because you know. So <laughs> I'm just that's why I'm just asked. You know, yeah, what I'm saying? it's just it's it's like when you come up from nothing, you appreciate everything. Okay. So I appreciate the small stuff, like even people comment and X Y Z, or even in person. If a person see me and holler at me or whatever it is, then I'm not too big to acknowledge that person or say thank you or you know coming up like i said we had a rough it was me and my brother and my mom she did what she could she ain't, but that was you know it is what it is but i learned my hustle from the you feel what i'm saying so what you what 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 did you think you got from from memphis like what did memphis kind of teach you you know what i'm saying <laughs> faith and finesse <laughs> <laughs> explain it faith, faith and finesse i mean just like the, like the shirt, my my brand walk by faith. It's just you got to have that faith walk. You got to believe in what you got going on. Yeah, and I think a lot of people get a, offended by that because you believe in what you got whatever going. You, yeah, whatever you like. You, you, yeah. If I say I'm the best DJ, then that's that's my. That's how I feel. Yeah, yeah. so it's like I mean, <laughs> that's, that's that's just me. Yeah. If if I make a list and said these are my favorite artists. That's, these that's are my favorite. My, artists. It don't matter if you like the art. It can be no. You cannot like no artists on there. Yeah, but I'm. I'm it's this. This is my top. This is my opinion. A lot of people get offended by your opinion or how you think. You don't have to agree to it. You don't have to follow it. You don't have to subscribe to it. You don't have to like it or nothing. But this is. You you, you know, cool. Everybody always talk about how dangerous Memphis is. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And just in in your opinion on you coming up like. Give us an overall. Is it is it that dangerous, or it's just kind of like if you in the wrong or right area? You know what I'm saying, or is it kind of like mind it your is business. Dirt, okay, yeah, okay. It's, it's dangerous. It's just mind your business. Like it's just one of those things. But if you know how to move, so this, I mean, it really coming up, and I was back and forth through Nashville and Memphis. So it, it Memphis is a lot rougher than Nashville. Okay. Okay. Way rougher. So it's okay. like I took a lot of things from that to apply to how I move in Nashville, mm-hmm. even DJing. Yeah. Um, and it helped me because you're gonna go ten times harder in Memphis than like you would in Nashville. Thanks. Yeah. To me, okay. Anybody that comes from Memphis, look at Nashville as a cakewalk. Not the people or nothing. Else. It's more opportunities. Mm-hmm. Yeah. To do uh-huh. which, even if you want to go get a job and and work and get out the way, then. You could do that. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Memphis is so small 
that you're going to run into that person evidently if you ain't just mi- moving militant. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? So um, growing up there, it just it it, it gives you the hustle because no, it's, it's real gritty. It's the home of the triple cross. So it's like <laughs> you, you got to be careful. <laughs> so that's what I apply to how I move anywhere. What 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 would you say um we when 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 we're talking about we might be even talking about support or we might be even talking about uh competition. What do you say the difference is from Memphis than Nashville when it's coming to the the entertainment world and you know what I'm saying just, and what's um, the to me um the support would be like in Memphis, if you bumping, you bumping. You are gonna have some haters or whatnot. But okay. if you if you bumping, they they bump. They it's bump. Bumping. Yeah. Okay. Okay. In Nashville, when it's coming to the D, I'm and I'm talking about the DJs and the radio stations. And the, yeah, you know what I'm saying? The streets gonna talk. Okay. Okay. So it's bumping. I don't care if it's big boogie, uh, female music. If it's street music, if if it's bumping, it's bumping. Like if the females on it, it's bumping. So, like shout out to Boog, like. He got street stuff. He got stuff for the females, and it, it's bumping. Uh, There's a lot of artists that's coming from that. Like Eddie Valero, he's more of a street poet, okay. more than like a radio or, you know, club type thing, but it's a cult following, kind of like a Don Trip, mm-hmm. Starlito. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Files in those categories. Uh, you got the Glocks. Uh, How do you, okay, and I want, this, I want to ask you this too. So, um, you just a DJ. You know what I'm saying? When we're talking about entertainment, and you do a lot of entertainment, but you are a hell of a fucking DJ. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, DJ is my passion. That's just... Okay, so um, it ain't no music that you probably won't spend. If it's hot, it's hot. Not, yeah, not. You just got to know when to spend it. Um, And so how do you, when it comes to dealing with the artists, What's you know with the doll thing and, like, what's going on with that? Like, how do you, when people, when artists are fruiting, what is uh Coop doing? Do Coop pick a side or got, do Coop just ain't got no side. So okay. I was in I was in at the height of a lot of this stuff I was I'm, moving around with a uh, Glock, but I'm a neutral person. So like I represent Slept On. That's my brand. Okay. So I'm, that's me. I'm not paper but you route, got, but you I'm got, not CMG. But you got burnt brands, but you're close to but you close to I'm close to a lot of people. Okay. So, but that's not my issue. You can't hold me accountable for none of the stuff that y'all going through. Okay. Because I'm not this nobody's paying me from you know, none of these none of this yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to to choose a side. Yeah. And not even and that I you choose making, to decide. Yeah, it's so, just, yeah, yeah. Okay. But we not I'm whoever I'm making money with or who are supporting me, that's that's who I'm and both sides are, you know, at one time I was on the road with Glock doing my thing with that, but I wasn't paper route. I was DJ Coop. Yeah. I was slipped on. That was my brand. What about, but, um, at, at, at one point it was you and like band, you know what I'm saying? I mean, and it wasn't that, me and band. I introduced band to key Glock. That's what, and yeah, that was just yeah, that. Yeah. You know, and so how does, I want to ask you a question before we go, like, how does that kind of work out when um, we was just, me and, me and uh, a guy was just having this conversation the other day, like, I actually turned you on to these people. Like, um, <laughs> not that not that I, I get anything or not that I want anything, but, I mean, what, if I actually turned you on, and I ain't even talking about, bam, nobody in a certain particular, but if I turned you on to these people, like, now what do I get? I mean, you should. What, when I work. when I do my stuff, I'm genuine about it. Okay. So I'm not going in here like this is a deal. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so we didn't time, I'm just yeah. really just being a real nigga. Yeah. Thanks. So when I was on the road with Glock, I'm riding around listening to band play beats. They like, who was band play? It's like this band play from the city, my nigga. I could have said these was my beats. Yeah. And can you feel what I'm <laughs> saying? But it was just one of those things like bam, bam, bam. I'm introducing and you take it from there. I can't tell you when the money roll in, when the plaques come, and what to do with that. Yeah, facts. That's up to you. Yeah. For you to be like, you know what? Bro did. You feel what I'm saying? He did. It was, <laughs> would it be, <laughs> would not, it be nothing but right? I'm just, 
I'm, hey, people got plaques. I didn't get no plaque. I didn't. I didn't make no nothing about. It. I just at one time I did speak on because somebody asked me a question. Yeah. Then it went from there. Yeah. But then that was just that. I was just telling the truth. Yeah. And how people take that is one one way or another because that's a, I'm a black and white person. Ain't no gray gray in it. But just um. But I what nigga you, can say thank you. What do you think? I'm just saying. But <laughs> but look. This is the thing, cool. Uh, I'm gonna just I'm gonna just use this right here. A B K Gates. Mm-hmm. Um, I saw cool. I don't know what what you had to do with it, but I saw y'all on that stage. Uh, we was open working. up for Ti, and you know what I'm saying. I'm just we was okay. We was working. We was working, and I get a call from my OG Clay, R. P. Clay, which is Ti's manager. <sighs> Uh, Everybody love that dude, man. Yeah. He had to be an amazing clay. Oh, See, it's, it's <laughs> them beat kings and clay, man. I would, I did them box, them the people I wish I just would have met. But go ahead. But with that situation, Clay hit me up. He's like, "Yo, who can Ti bring out from Nashville? We're going to bring out this country guy who got a song with Tip." I'm like, "Bro, I'm not on fucking country." Or and I'm looking at where I'm at, who I'm dealing with, so. We doing business at this moment. Yeah. At this period of time, we was doing business. We was doing a promo tour with when I was managing art. Uh, Eddie, I'm Eddie Valero. We was doing a promo tour. I put ABK Gates on there, and we was doing business. And it just, it just so happened to be like, right in that cup. <laughs> and it was, and it, and, yeah. it, and it, at that time, it was three artists slash groups of who would make sense. Okay. I'm not biased to none of it because okay. I've been a part of all of it okay and getting it broke so at that time it was abk gates which i was doing business with mm-hmm. it was in my man these are the three options that I had in my mind okay abk gates who i was doing business with yes it was this thing who yeah, i did sure previous I business with yeah but we wasn't doing business okay and it was ski ski shout out to ski rp ski we didn't do it we wasn't Doing business, they came to me for consulting, and you know they, we had a relationship, yeah, but we yeah. wasn't doing business. Okay, so I'm doing business, so I'm gonna put the person in that on I'm the doing stay business, business with. Will. Yeah, I mean that just <laughs> that just makes sense, right? Yeah, <laughs> not saying that. Yeah, none of these people are capable. Of, I wish yeah. I could bring all three of Real them mind. on there, but at this situation, this is what we doing, and from there. It just, to me, it's it just like the business. It would, <laughs> it just made somebody like it. If, if you're on that stage, that that stage is a motherfucker. Yeah. No. It, hey. It, <laughs> <laughs> but but what even gives you the so confidence you, to you, be going out there and you don't really do that? You know, what I'm I mean, I know you do that. But you do it around you know these, you, uh, uh, okay. these the clubs. You do, yeah, you do. And you, you you get the notification and people. You see people saying singing your words and you're like. And this is the thing that I always say: you get Nashville hot. Yeah, Nashville hot works than AIDS. <laughs> you get Nashville hot. hot. You you think you Jesus? Yeah. Ooh. I hate. Let me look. So when you get Why? there, when you get once you once you get off that stage, oh, I don't need coop. I done made it. I'm oh, shit. I'm ready to go. That was just the intro, nigga. <laughs> what do people like Tip? Uh, do, 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 did we, um, as in Nashville, are we getting any feedback out there, Coop? Like, uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm just Nashville being, is I'm just already, being told, I'm asking. No. Okay. Uh, Shit. Nashville. <laughs> Nash, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, too. Uh, Nashville is known for country music. Okay. Outside of Nashville. Which you, people don't see is known for that, but you have the 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 pioneers of Nashville music, the Starlitos, Young Buck, Facts, uh, Pistol, City Paper, Cook Up. You feel what I'm saying? And I mentioned Cook Up because Cook Up is actually an artist, and he was making money off his name. Yeah, facts. not because he he ain't know how to rap, yeah. but he was an entertainer, and he can sell five hundred. Hats that say make the trap good <laughs> and it can you'll yeah. be viral and those 
I seen that. I seen he was on the road with Jelly Roll. Facts, yeah. And Yellow Wolf. You feel what I'm saying? So mentioning him, you know, but those Quanny Cash. Oh, uh, most most definitely. So um Quanny Cash, you got D you got a lot of these people. How easy but uh, okay, but but for Coop, how easy is it to say, hey, you good enough to get a deal, I'm finna just plug you in with such and such, or do Coop have to have some type of recognition on that? No, nah, I gotta get my money. And okay. I don't even care about no recognition no more. Okay. Okay, so, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that money's was, recognition. That's what I'm, that's yes, I got okay. we got to, okay. I, I gotta get a uh, finder's fee. Okay. Because niggas don't keep it real. Mm-hmm. Um, um not, I don't give a fuck a producer or artist. Well, they check here and they don't know you. If y'all ain't on no paperwork, it ain't it didn't happen. So that's that's what I learned from all of it is like everything got to be on paper. How much do you care about what people care about you? Zero percent. Uh, it depends you, on. I'm just saying, I'm just, I'm just saying, like you know. What I mean, because I mean? that's they that's their perception, that's their perception of you. So what I put out is is that. So you don't know me as an individual. You just know DJ Coop as whatever it is. It might have been in the club. And I'm DJing and you trying to do business. I'm DJing. Yeah. And now you mad because I don't want to do business in the club. Uh, yeah. And, and then, but, <laughs> Call but, me Monday. Why don't they understand? Why don't people understand? Because they um, don't. It's a protocol to get at a DJ. What's what's actually, what's the protocol to get at a DJ? Like Coop. Like you busy talk. as hell though, but what's the protocol to get at Coop? Book a consultation. It just depends on what we doing, yeah. what we talking about. Because I ain't talking for free no more either, so. You you want to talk? We can talk. I I can tell you everything that you need to know is up to you to process it and believe in it or not. But I know what I'm talking about. I now what I'm showing you with Eddie Valero, I you you seeing that yeah. I knew what I was talking about. He he doing good. He so doing, it's like yeah, he doing great. And is he gonna come on the podcast? What Eddie? Get yeah, get, get here. But um, yeah. that was my. Main thing with Eddie is I got an artist that I can show y'all what I can do. I, I my fingerprints on this. I ain't no, you feel what I'm saying? And he's he listens to and he doesn't care. Uh, like yes, bro helped me. Yeah, thanks. I listen to this. What's guy. the problem with people? Um, with just giving out the props, saying man, like dude, you know what I'm saying, like dude inspired me or dude helped me, you know what I'm saying, like what's the why is that so much of an issue that people just scared to say, man, Coop helped me. I don't know because Coop probably, spent me because they probably said something crazy prior to that. <laughs> Until somebody else was like, how can you say both of those things? Think about the internet. I just want to. I want look. Think think about the internet, Coop. Um. We talk about Nashville now. Like, mm -hmm. I can go down that. Look, I can, I can be on the internet. I can see like every. They might like every post, but yours. Like, but I'm I'm not. Based well, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not even talking about yours. I'm yeah, just talking nah, about this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Period. In general, that's you know just, what I'm saying? Is that a sign of hate, though? No. Yeah. If I'm saying. coming down your timeline and cool, like if, if you're doing, doing something good. <laughs> If, if look, Coop, I don't give a damn what you say. If I'm coming down your timeline and I'm seeing Coop at a packed sold out show with Duval, uh, and it's crunk and Coop doing this thing, everybody should be liking that. That ain't even Why? nothing not to like. Why? Because it's somebody that 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 you know is doing something positive and actually putting a city on that he's in. It sounds good. In the perfect world. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I mean? Look, look, Coop. Do Duval really be traveling to his shows in that plane that he be in? Yeah. He got like three I saw you. He got three planes. <laughs> Duval. Duval. How Duval like, um, I can see how Duval like picked you up because you so freaking consistent and you just about your business and Coop going to show out, but. But how is that relationship with a, a a a guy like Duval? Do it turn into just straight business, or is it a friendship? Because Duval looked like he got all friends around him. You know what I'm saying? And how did he discover you? What made y'all want to work together? Because Coop, I don't care who it is. Coop, you like a really hard fellow. Like you will turn Jay Z down. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, it was opportunity. Uh, okay. Once again, um, shout out to Clay. Shout out to uh, 
T from Fat Cap. Shout out to uh, OG, uh, DJ Larry Live, one of my D- DJs from uh, Memphis. Memphis. Larry Live. Shout out uh, to Larry Live. They had a, they was in the need of a DJ for the weekend at Zany's, and they called to the city who was DJ to use. And my name came up with three other DJs, uh, but my name came up more than the other the DJs. <laughs> <laughs> so that was that was how one of the situations came about, uh, as far as decision on who to use. And then, like as Duval said, Top Wolf told me he was like, "Well, I just went to all y'all Instagram to see who was following me, and I was the only one following them." Okay. You feel what I'm saying? And we did a weekend. Uh, at Zany's, which was six shows, and I killed it. Do Duval ever like say anything about Nashville or like what's going on down there? The, like, just I'm just saying, even when it's coming to doing business and how Nashville is growing and stuff, you would think the guys that that's around you guys that's actually business minded would want to say like, "Hey, man, let's do something in Nashville. Let's do a club in Nashville. Let's do um um." Rich broke, you know what I'm saying, in Nashville or something. Shout out to his little thing, his little uh, the, the, the the closing thing. Oh, that's that's deep. How he got you? Got to come in there and scan it. Yeah, foul. Yeah, that that was like I, you know, that that was inspiring. You know what I'm saying? Just to sure. see something like it. I think it's I think that's dope. Um, and so uh, it, have you ever had any conversation with him? Like, man, doing something big in Nashville because no, not we, in we need. You know what I'm saying? No, not Nashville. Other like we. Got some other stuff working on. I just, I mean, where I'm at is just more, it's bigger than this. Yeah. Like, uh, I've been in Atlanta for the last year just working in different things. And back and forth, my mom's still here. Um, But outside of that, it's just the city's changing. So it's like the the nightlife is slim. And it's it's really just forming into a a whole nother place that you Ten years ago, yeah, you feel what I'm saying. So, people see it because mm-hmm. they coming through here and get yeah. this bag. Facts. It's just we not leaving here to go get no money. Nobody else said it. Mm-hmm. That's the whole issue with all of it. Yeah, people are cool, and people that's coming in, they got more money than the people that's here. Yeah, yeah. So they can do more. Is, is you and Duval more like business or like it's? It, it kind of transformed like because a 50, y'all 50. be, you know what I'm saying? I mean, well, I'm just saying in, in a, uh, it did it transform to like a French, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, we he do business. Like, he, like you got to okay. do business first to, okay. to, to create the, the relationship. Okay. Regardless if it's business or whatever, it's like, mm. and that was the thing. Like my mom had told me, cause I was in the, in the, in the situation to where I just got off the road with Key Glock and I was like, what's next? You feel what I'm saying? As far as like, I don't want to be sitting in Nashville. Yeah, facts. So you ain't, yeah. <laughs> so it's like yeah, that happened, and you know, I just told him, "Give me your schedule, and I'm gonna make it my schedule." Because I mean, I don't have no job. Yeah. So it's like, and this is, bef- this is right before Smile dropped. Like when I was the first DJ to play Smile when he played it in Nashville, like mm-hmm. this is at Zany's. Yeah. And then a week later, it jumped gone. And it's six years later. <laughs> when 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 we uh and, and uh because I want to go into that just I just want to go into a little bit when it when it comes to Nashville, and and when it comes to like playing records and when it comes to like relationships and even with 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 like you Coop, um, how have your relationship been with the artists and just just your overall concept of nashville like like what did you what was your plans when you came here and just build with the community of nashville just how has it been dj entertainment wise i mean it's like i've supported every artist that had a record okay a record to just that that's i i I say that a lot (laughs) you have to have a record that the streets is feeling to even, okay, but go ahead. Yeah, so I've supported, like, I'm not biased to playing none of it because if you got a demand for that music, then that mean you got something. Okay. So if they come in to re- re- request your song, then that shows me 
more than about this record than you know. Yeah. Because you still got to break it regardless because even if it's new music, you got to play it. So yeah, no, you got to find where to put it at and what time to put it. Like, okay. it has to have that same weight to go into a heavy rotation, mm -hmm. which is cool. There's plenty of artists that got hits still to this day. They just don't know what to do with them. Okay. So I'm. there's a lot of songs here from years ago that still got, that yeah. can go. Why do you think, uh, Nashville, when you got Memphis blowing out the freaking water, why do you think Nashville at, is at the like the same standstill when it comes to rap? Because nobody listens. <laughs> um, the last successful artist out of Nashville, rap wise, was Starlito, and he left Nashville to become successful. Even if it's Knoxville, like he moved around. Nobody yeah. leaves. The far they go is Clarksville. Thanks. I ain't going to Murfreesboro, Tullahoma. You got to hit all the, anything in the 200 mile radius of north, south, east, and west. Going to get you to another city from Nashville. Mm -hmm. Atlanta, Chattanooga, Knoxville, Huntsville. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Memphis, yeah. Louisville. Yeah. And you feel what I'm saying? So if you're not moving around in that, 200 mile radius, nobody's going to know you who you are anyways, unless you, it just blows out of the thing, but it's still going to have to come from a major city or ex ex music travels. Mm -hmm. So my main thing was like, how was none of this happening? And you're in between Memphis and Atlanta. Um, yeah. Facts. It's like a volcano. Yeah. Yeah. Facts. Yeah. You would think so. Yeah. But nobody leaves here and goes nowhere. Okay. Nobody. Nobody's left here since Starlito to go to do anything. I mean, I mean, I preach it all the time. I, you know, and, and I ain't trying to, I ain't cramping your style. Like, I ain't even, I even mean, I saw, you. I mean, Cook Up, Cook Up was on tour. He understood moving around. Yeah, yeah. But he's not a rapper. He's an entertainer. But he understood it because we both learned it from Star. When okay, e e even when you you're talking about uh, when when Cook Up and Buck had they little fruit, you know what I'm saying? Like, do you think? Just in as as a DJ, was that proper? Should that should that could have been handled a little different? Or man, that's that wasn't about rap. <laughs> that wasn't yeah. about no okay. music. So that wasn't a DJ thing. Okay, that was just more of those two going at it, and whatever the case may be. Did it help or hurt? Oh, 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 uh, who? What? Just, just the the city in the whole. We the city I, as a whole is trying to get. You I, know I, what I don't saying? think it hurt the city. I think it okay. gave attention on the city. city. Okay. Okay. Um, but it just depends on like I our promo is good promo. That's what I live and die by. Our promo is good promo. So, um, uh, even when I just did this thing, like I need my money from uh city some of these artists that I work with, yeah. I gave them so much attention that they didn't even capitalize off of it. You couldn't pay for the attention that I gave y'all. They was more embarrassed because y'all yeah. owe me money. But if 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 you, I never said you're. Music wasn't good. good. I just yeah. say you owe me money. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So if you get all this attention and you can't capitalize off of that, then there's... Yo. How do you... Um, cool. How do you know who to trust and who not to trust these days? Trust nobody. <laughs> That's why it's on paper. <laughs> trust, trust the paper. Is you it, know what I'm saying? The paper ain't gonna lie. I'm just saying, it, uh, uh, Coop, like, just for like me... like a snitch. If a nigga snitch, it's on paper. <laughs> so, if a nigga snitch to get out of his own paper. Your head, you on paper. <laughs> you, you, I'm not on paper, y'all. I ain't got nobody to snitch paper. on. I ain't yeah. been, I don't go to jail. So I, I don't do nothing to go to jail, so I can't tell on nobody. I ain't on paper. I got homeboys who snitches. They ain't telling me. <laughs> Are you still cool with him, though? I ain't cool with him because he, he he jerked out on some shit like I owed him some money when he got out. But it wasn't because he was a snitch. Cause what's his name? I need to know him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but. Hey, but now look, um, why do you do what you do? Like, what show? What was? Be, I'm I'm talking about from the beginning. Like, you know, get some money during. But I'm saying during you you go through you go through so many people and like your kind of plan like change. But from from the beginning, like getting in this, why do you do what you do? As far as the music. Just all oh, what you do, just yo. I'm a hustler, so I want to make some money. I want to provide for my family, you know what I'm saying, and stuff like that. I want to be financially free. 
You went Can't do what uh, I want to do. You went uh, viral. Uh, didn't Miss Tina know it was you? Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, look, when B ain't unsafe, mama pokes you, it's something different. But I want to, uh, and I can, I want, I want to go in that just a little bit. Like, what happened with that situation, or just you know, what I mean, because we going through it out here as men. I ain't got the best relationship with one of my um, kids' mamas. You know what I'm saying? What happened was, well, I, um, my oldest daughter, she's about to be 13. I met her when she was nine. Years old, yeah. That's and I mean. uh, how did that happen though? Like how what? did how do you not know you got a kid? No, I had no. I had a kid. Her mom okay. left. Okay, when she was two weeks old. Okay, that's, it's, 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 and went to Colorado, and I just wasn't chasing her. Yeah, thanks. Uh, that's that. But from that, we when we met, her mom recorded it. Everything like we was talking earlier. Everything about the context. Yeah, the content of it, the context mm-hmm. or the headline of it. And I posted that video two years prior to that. And it was just, you know, a celebration um, of a new new, new start. Perfect, yeah. And she posted it, but it was the content. Yeah. It was the caption. It was the, yeah. All so that, it's what like, we're talking about. Yeah. now everybody's like, because it's what you put out. My daughter, the, the, the thing was, my daughter is going, thinks she's going to sleep out. She's meeting her dad for the first time in nine years. And uh, so-and-so, so-and-so, I left. Or, or you know, it, just, it was just dot, dot, dot. So now they like, what, has he been locked up? Or has he been? What, just, what's, yeah, what's going on? And we just broke up. Okay. I mean, she, did, she left when I was at work, took out all the stuff. And it, that was just that on that. I've tried to communicate, but it's like at that time I was young, twenty two. Yeah. So it was like I'm twenty two with a with a woman who already got two kids and taking care of them. Then we got one, right. and it's just a lot. It's and, and, and it's a and, and it's a lot of guys, you know. what I'm saying that deal with that, like, but uh, like, what's the bounce back factor looking like? As in, like, when, when, when daughter meets you, like, their relationship. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I mean, it's a, it was a beautiful thing, but it's just, like, because at, at the time, she thought somebody else was her father, so mm. it's, like, too. And Cause, that's what I'm saying. How is it for her, like, I mean, you just her, pop up? You know what I mean? Right, but she <laughs> like, she's looking at me like, wow, we're okay. twins. Woo. Yeah. Now my I understand why I'm I, Get I'm stuff. this I'm I'm this color and you're that color and my yeah. siblings are this color and I understand it all now. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. at that time it's just one of those things of being grateful to to be around her and you know what I'm saying, embrace her and you know, try to show her a better life just in general of what you experienced, regardless of who fault it was. Well, uh, that, 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 that don't, don't even matter no more, right? Let's go forward. Okay. You feel what I'm saying? And then, you know, it's still patches in it because now you got a, uh, I wouldn't even call a nigga stepdaddy. You got somebody that don't treat you the same. So you don't never want your child to experience no bullshit yeah. like that because yeah. now we got issues. Yeah. You feel Thanks. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you, because it's, cause it's like a life change for her. You know what I mean? Not only for you, for her correct. too. You know what I'm saying? But she, it, it, when, when that thing was viral, she was like, I was a star at school. So it was yeah. like, whatever <laughs> yeah. everybody got out of it, I don't know what the mom wanted out of it. It is what it is. But just like I said, all promo is good promo. So people going to think what they think or however the situation plays out or however it's candid to because play Because everybody out. got their issues. Ain't nobody like it. You know what I mean? And me yeah. on... But I'm not I mean? a person to shame, so it's kind of like it is it, what it is. Yeah, no, I, that, that, I'm I'm saying it was a beautiful picture. You know what I'm it's, saying? That was my that, intentions of it. Oh, that was, from, it was from, no, it was prior to, I'm saying it, that's prior, what I'm, I'm that's what I'm getting. Correct. It, so yeah. it, from that, what that was my attentions from it. So I don't I don't know what the other attentions was it because even with that, we talking on the phone off the internet, and she's like getting. All kind of stuff because the internet is a wild place. It's it's, it's, it's very wild. <laughs> so it's like it, they, it, it, it can go anywhere. You can exactly. have some positive, so you, you, and it can go anywhere. You might yeah. she's saying she didn't have no ill intentions of it, but yeah. now you're getting the good 
the so, good and the bad of yeah. it. Like yeah. people like you're a low down mother, you're X Y Z, and <laughs> yeah. and you're like crying to me. Like I'm like, take it down. Yeah. You had, I mean, you you wanted if, if something. If all this is bothering much, you, yeah, just delete it because. I, but you're not to, deleting because you monetizing now. Now you make <laughs> now you making money. Man, I'm money going yeah, on. So yeah, so I try to. Okay, if we're gonna do this, then use your virus to help my daughter. We're gonna start her company. Yeah, yeah. Oh, she don't need to be on the internet and it what? What? She's all over. She done she <laughs> been seen by eight million thousand people. You know what I mean? Correct. So yeah. it's like, man, I remember the people from Power hit me up, like one of the cast, the uh, what was the, the the brother name? Not uh, not from uh not from Power from uh Raising Canaan. Raising Canaan, yeah. I think it was, same thing. About yeah, same but thing. the uncle, one of he he was doing the podcast and they was reaching out. It was crazy. I, I don't know. But what do Coop like um just in, in all your good doing? Like Coop, I, I want you to think about something. Sometimes we know I'm just doing a good thing and I'm just gonna show some love. In all your good doing, what do you think you deserve? I mean, you you never get what you deserve. You get what you, <laughs> you get what you negotiate. No, yeah. But I really don't um, do anything for a thank okay. you. If I want to do it, I'm going to do okay. it. So you'll never see me record nobody on the side of the road and I'm giving them money or shoes. No, like I ain't. Because I've, I've been poor before, so I don't like that feeling. What do it take to be cool friend? Because uh, one of my uh, reasons having this pocket, I want to be a friend of cool. What do it take to be cool friend? Whatever it is, just be you. Yeah. Uh, just be real. Like, I don't have too many friends. Yeah. So right. it's like, and I'm cool with that because yeah. everybody's not trying to do what I'm trying to do. So yeah. if we on this, if we both on Kendrick Spears and and we connect, then that's cool. Like, Thanks. I don't I don't talk to family or none of it. Like, if it, if you're not on what I'm on, because people are gonna try to bring you. I yeah. I will be your friend quicker. Then I'll be somebody friend that I know twenty years. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You kind of because you we have two different yeah outlooks. So a person that you started with X Y Z and you surpassed them, they feel a certain type of way. Do you think uh these days your friends are more of the people that's like kind of doing good business and business like you are and kind of rising together to kind of understand? You know friends, what I'm saying? They just like my friends. I mean, I I probably got. Um, probably five people I talk to. Yeah, just on a regular basis, and we do business. Outside of that, like my friends that I grew up with, we don't even conversate because everybody got their own thing going on. So I just feel like if you wanted to be a part of something that I got going on, then we would conversate. But how how are your people like? Like your main circle of people and your friends, how do do they support? How do they support? Oh yeah, they you? got you. Know to. They want to be around me. Yeah, they like, be right. Look, every time um, I cut my mom off if if she don't support me, but that's my girl, <laughs> so she was there. She was there. Mama, <laughs> my you good, your mama? My, mama, hey. your mama. Support my mama, her mama. My mama gonna do whatever. So she, cause she, we been there together. So it's like, but I just don't tolerate nothing. Like I'm gonna tell you what I respect about you, like. Every time I hear people like Boogie, Big Boogie, and Money Back, yo, like when 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 even when 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 they saying something about Nashville, they saying Coop. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah, I was a person that rolled out that red car before at the beginning of their career. So I don't want to be when you popping. Where you can you get them on my podcast, man? That yeah. what I'm, I'm just Money yeah. Bag and Big Boogie. Can you get that? I'm serious. Shout can out you to, get them man, on my them podcast? Two, two real like even when Bag, you know, he was on. Stuff in New York and like they asking like who who y'all dealing with? That nigga said Coop. Look, that nigga said <laughs> he said hey, start Lido and Buck and shit Coop and like hey, I, I'm top I, three. You know so it's like that's cool to be in the conversation with Star Lido and Young Buck. Come on, and then my name come man. next. Then that I'm doing my job, but I'm I'm in the streets, so what's, it's like what, what's your job? Look, what I'm the Coop to connect. That's my job. I I put the shit together. I can sell salt to a slug if you want me to. <laughs> what have you done for the Nashville community that you think have been, not been done that you brought to the sauce? Um, I don't think nothing I've done have not been done. Um, 
I just think it ain't been done right. Okay. Uh, Nashville community as in what? Like the music well, scene just, or just, just community? Just, just the, look, cool, get what? I've done they back get, to school drives up. and stopped the violence and I did all that stuff. Anybody can say what they want to say. But cool, guess what? You know what I'm more inspired by you? I'm more inspired that you came from somewhere else in the talk of the town. Yeah. How did you do that? Because I just want I just everybody came, everybody. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to outwork them. <laughs> that, that Memphis hustle. So I'm going to outwork a nigga. So it was it's one, like, look, cool. Uh, when he had Coop had Saul before Saul, you know what I said that. Look, uh, La Rosa, the chicken, La Rosa, then the chicken. I'm talking about the one I used to come to the one right there on 21st of Styles. Ah, uh, yeah, that was uh, he used to be uh Pluckers, but prior prior to that, I just took advantage of the opportunities that was put in front of me. Do you think that worked good for you or bad for you? As in you being from Memphis and coming in Nashville and like kind of like everybody that's in position in Nashville urban nightlife is not from Nashville. It's only a few now it's probably okay. some more, but like yep. when I was coming up, none of the people that ran the clubs or the promoters were from Nashville. Fact, Outside of, daddy, I, yeah, what, what, yo, the, Rob, the OG, Rob, yeah. Black Rob not from Nashville. I know. Well, I'm, 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 saying, I'm calling out people not from Nashville. <laughs> but I'm just yeah. saying, so those people, give you the blueprint and you just make what you want out of it. So if I can see a black Rob doing Joe Johnson, AG, Dola White, you know what I'm saying? Dola White's not from Nashville. Right, right. So it's like and these people guy. are coming here in their college years, figuring out what's going on, starting their own thing and being successful. Why can't I do it? Where do you see the music going? Nashville. Like as of, we're going to start from today as of now, where do you see the music in Nashville going? What that? What music? Yes. Like what? What genre well, of music? You know what I'm saying? R and B. We got some R and B. We got Lotus. It we, ain't going we, 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 nowhere. We got the two if it ain't going nowhere if you don't leave the city. Okay. Cause I don't know if they're looking for the next music city miracle, but it, if you ain't singing on country, <laughs> or that ain't what Nashville want. So you got to understand that as Nashville as a whole, Black Nashville don't run Nashville. Yeah, facts. It's, you're just a percentage. And it's getting smaller yeah, and smaller yeah, yeah. and smaller. Yeah. So they don't want that. So that's why you gotta leave to go. Go. So this 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 to me, that's where the urban scene of it, the R and B, it I don't care what it is. If it the country is the dominant factor. Can Coop really help it get to another level? If they I'm let not it. really trying to. I don't. I ain't saying. I ain't saying you're oh, trying I, to. I, I can. I'm asking you a question. Yeah. Oh, that's that's. I believe you. I'm telling you. I believe. But you have Look, to have cool, the artists who gonna listen. Okay. So if you don't listen, it's not going to go nowhere. Quick. What does? Because I'm gonna stop. Okay. If 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 an artist in Nashville is saying, "Hey, Coop, let's take it to another level," um, what does that deal look like with Coop? What does Coop want from that 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 situation? Um, thirty. 25% of whatever. Oh, they to manage, I charge 20%. But that's, you have to have something to manage. Yeah, facts. A lot of people don't have nothing to manage. manage. Yeah. So that'd be the thing. It's like, how are you going to pay me? But you can get them out the city, right? Most definitely. So you need a budget to move around because I'm not paying for it. Oh, nothing. I've, done that, for, that. I've yeah. done that. But I'm saying they're going to need to invest into themselves to, to move around. It costs to move around. It costs to get on these other platforms and these things, and that's it's always been that talent, no money, no talent, a lot of money, and none of them listen. Who has done the best in Nashville when it comes to the entertainment rap, as you think? Who has done the best? Who has been the best artist that's coming out of Nashville that represented it right? That represented it right? Yeah. <laughs> it was right. It was wrong. <laughs> The, the, the I'm successful cool. artist that came uh, out of Nashville. Whoever you think, I'm just asking the, cool. my, the successful <laughs> artist that came out of Nashville. Who you think is would be to to me as successful. Okay. Uh and cause I've you seen You only gotta answer if you don't want to. I'm Pistol. Busy. Okay. Quanny Cash. Okay. Ooh, yes. Starlito. Okay. Young Buck. Okay. And Cook Up. Good. I like I like that. Look. 
I want to look. I'm going to tell you, look, hold, hold up. I got to, I got to, uh, because I got to look. DJ Trout. And, and uh, oh. honorable mention, City Paper, if he took his shit. City Paper, my guy. If yeah. he took his. He's going to get mad at you if you didn't no, do that. Paper. I, I, I was in the, I was in the, right I was in the early stages of that. Mm-hmm. If he took it more serious, then he could have been bigger. Yeah. I, I tell me, hey, look, you probably gonna answer this question, but guess what? This right here, this is my post of the day. I always <laughs> got a post of the day, cool. And um, DJ Trap posted this today. He said, "Lord, I give you two of these Nashville rappers with big chains. Give us B King back. Which two rappers are you getting rid of <laughs> in Nashville? Don't say it." <laughs> 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 but no, man, I kind of um pass. I'm um, a, I'm excited for. But, I haven't been. In, I look, I'm excited for the new. Cause it's like it's kind of like high school. You know, every yeah. four years, uh-huh. it's a, it's somebody new. Uh, but I'm excited. I'm never. Who are you excited about right now in Nashville? Even though I don't know not, nobody that's rapping in Nashville right now. Cause I'm I haven't been tuned in to Nashville for real. So I don't know like who's the DJ Coop. You gotta be the last still person. Be tuned in. A I'm bit. not, but the last person that I was excited about was uh, Lisky. He was exciting. So that was the he, last person. He was exciting. I'm not saying there's nothing after that, and I'm sure okay. there's a bunch of yeah. artists that are aspirant, like doing their thing, and I salute them. Um, but I haven't. Nothing's come to my radar like Coop. Okay, you need to get behind this person. Yeah, yeah. Or if would Coop do that? If if if, if Coop sees something really taking off in Nashville without even getting no benefits from it, would Coop take it in and support it? Yeah, I okay. mean, I just want okay. somebody to shine. Almost that, yeah, one thing. But it's just like, is Nashville is a selfish city, so it's like. Yeah. That's why they they want to be the person to do it and they way and nobody put me on. Yeah, we yeah. It could have been a lot of people got up out of here just by conversations and put, mm. being put in the, in the right room, but nobody. How much do you, uh, Coop, appreciate Nashville? Just you know, coming up from Memphis and coming to I Nashville. Fuck with that. Nashville saved my life. That what that's what I'm talking <laughs> about. See, Coop, they old, that why I'm, I'm trying to. I'm trying. I want to get you here, Coop, because you don't have that many haters. Like there were people to understand. You never don't have that many haters. You might have a couple of them that's just louder than the people that support you. But you got a lot of people support you. But uh, also, I also always wanted to bring to the like, like what you just said, like how much you appreciate. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't Nashville. have to say like, it to everybody, but if you're last subscribe show, I, you know what I mean. I love Nashville. It's it's it, I mean, it's been good. It's been a good ride. Like I take the good and the bad out of all of it because it's gonna come with it. So it's just about keeping keeping it moving. So I, and I understand like getting out the way and being not being overly seen. And because when people just see you, oh, that's just so and so. Out of all the DJs, you know, what I'm saying like in Nashville, uh, we got. D five DJs like I don't give it I don't care what nobody say, but um I'm just saying Coop like would you come in in a market that was cluttered? How the hell did you make it to the point where you at now? What you think? To, and I know we talk about your hustle, but how do you think you made it to the point to where you at now? Coming in being the outsider. Well, I just seen what they was doing, and I ain't gonna do that. So if if if. If y'all do, if everybody doing this, what's gonna make you different? Yeah. So, from the time that I came in, I used to host my own stuff. So I started as a host. I used to host when I first started in Nashville nightlife. I was hosting for DJ LW at Lizzie's, and in Memphis, you gotta host your own thing. If you mm-hmm. ain't talking on the mic, they walking out. Like, yeah, Ooh. that's just that. Yeah. So I became more of an entertainer. On the mic, I'm not scratching and all that. It's just getting to the next song. But I built it from there. And I th- I did, that was the difference between me and a lot of DJs at when I was coming up because everybody needed a host. Mm-hmm. I didn't need a host. You use your own host. You were that. You know yeah, what I mean? Because <laughs> I know what I want to say, how I want to say it, when I want to say it. If you don't say it how that, you fuck my setup. What's your main club in there for that you think you shook it and can't nobody like shake it, it like you? Ooh, you gonna take limelight like the biggest, it? the biggest, 
I really just shook the bridge. You put, down you, you put your stamp on lime. You gonna take lime light? Yeah. Okay. Well, that was my shit. I'm gonna tell you something. I can't shout out to DJ. Shout out to T. That's the first freaking club I seen you in lime light. I'm gonna tell you. Look, I'm gonna tell you who you was playing. I'm gonna tell you who you was rocking, <laughs> and you had them rocking, and, and you gonna trip. This ain't even gonna be a name. You think I'm gonna say? Bug did it. Yeah, but bottom when, like, yeah. when, when he had with that with but dog, he came. You, I put them. He came. He was I'm, ready. He was. If you go campaign, you got the campaign. But shout to Bug Diddy, free Bug Diddy. <laughs> shout out to Bug Diddy. Uh, uh, uh free Bug Diddy. You yeah. know what I'm saying? He came like, right. We went. That's the. First. We sat down. We had a. We had a. We sat down for a consultation. Okay. <laughs> How much is the consultation? So we know. How much is it now? Right now, two fifty an hour. Okay, that ain't nothing. That ain't bad. And then I just look at it, I just look at it like if you don't have two fifty to invest in yourself, I don't want to talk. Cool, that ain't bad to talk to you. That's really low. Just to be honest with you, I know, but I try to make it affordable. Yeah, facts. Oh, so, the most effort. And I'm gonna tell you everything that I feel like you need to know, or well, because that's what we're doing. We're deciphering what you got going on, how you could do this, and mark, put a put a rollout plan together. Yeah, but we sat down. And we went forward. We sat down at Lizzie's, which it was called Dax at the time. We sat down. Hey, Coop, I'm trying to do this. I got to, I'm going to pay you this to do this, to play my song. Like, Live Life was the biggest club, That's the biggest night. <laughs> Live Life Friday Night Happy Hour. So Come I was, on, I was, That's what we did I was excited to play a new record. Okay. And okay. see if it hit or miss, or how could I critique it to make it hit? So I have to hear the music prior to me getting in the club. Yeah. If you got a song like, oh, that shit gonna go hard, I could throw that bitch right in right here. You already know what to throw it. Yeah. You know what they're throwing in at. Yeah. So, yeah, but I mean, Limelight, of course. I did yeah. every club, but Limelight was like that. That was your, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, I, and it was crazy because my first time DJing there, I, I told uh, T, I said, just give me 30 minutes. <laughs> 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 you ain't gotta pay me nothing. <laughs> Promise you, just give me thirty minutes. How do you get that skill from DJing? Like, does that come from school? Because I have, have ne- never even asked the DJ skill this. You like, know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I, like I, DJ. I learned. I learned from good DJs. So I okay. When Who's I was the top DJ, uh, if, if you would give me one DJ, just give me one DJ. Your top DJ, like worldly, who is top DJ? Who who, who you give it to? Your top DJ that that's gonna smash every time. DJ just born. He from Memphis, I was good DJ. Because okay. that's the person that showed me how to open up and close. <laughs> yeah. So, and DJ just was a legendary DJ. You gotta, you I just mean, everybody probably mess with him in Memphis. He probably the top thing in Memphis. Like I C-Wiz. mean, I wouldn't. He's like a C-Wiz. He's like a C-Wiz. Yeah, yeah, like that's like that what, that's what uh, it made me think about. Between Just Born and Larry Live is like the fine mix. Because C-Wiz is going to be. Does Larry Live. Get the get 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 the get the credit that he should like. He's getting it now. He's, okay, he's definitely getting, the, he's getting the fruits he of his labor. The... But he's been in it. I looked at him. I looked at his career, and and I see myself in a lot of it. So yeah. it's like, because that's who I really came up under in, in a time to where it's like I'm just I ain't wouldn't like big bro, but I'm in the king. No, I'm in the crowd studying it. Like I was going to to the clubs. I used to like I could do this. Yeah. Is this what they doing? So I got a and my homegirl, he's uh Mary, uh, DJ Mary Kay, she from Memphis. She gave me the the DJ program. I just went home and studied it. Like, do this, do this, how to do this, and then I just go on. I DJ Spanish Fly, DJ Rocksteady. I used to go to those clubs. Does, does Coop think anybody is better in DJ than Coop? It depends on what this DJing is. Like scratching hell, I'm not no. Gotcha. I'm an entertainer. What's your what's 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 your top? If, if if we're putting you in a DJ category, what's your go to? Like what, go what's to your to read the room? I can do anything. Mm. So I ain't got no go to. So it just it just that was my specialty to read the room and just create my. Own. I'm I say whatever on the mic, so it's gonna just hit you like damn. This nigga just say this. Top five. Uh, give me your top five overall. All. Oh. Around the world, dead or alive rappers. Give me DJ Cool top five. Who DJ Cool playing? He know he gonna rock the show. Dead or alive. Who I'm playing? Or like just my dead top or, five. No, your, your top five dead or alive. You gotta. I mean, you gotta. My top five rappers dead or alive. 
Starly though. Oh, everybody uh, say that. This is my favorite rapper. Everybody I got grind hard Ted. Everybody, everybody say that. He one of my favorite because I, I I grew up to it. Okay. So when we did do business, I already like I was already on. How it. How was that business with Starlito? What is Starlito like in doing business? That's what I want to know because you because you ain't doing business with him now. But what what what? It's that? a learning experience from everything. You get something out of every situation. I learned a lot of stuff from that situation. Or promoing how to brand yourself. And how smart is Starly though? That's what I want. So we both smart. So okay, like, that was, that was, you know what I'm saying. We both how, geniuses. How smart is this nigga? Nah, he, I he, he it understands all. it. So you just gotta okay. listen. Okay. So I'm a great listener, and I take stuff and put it into my own interpretation. Just like uh, back in the day, you know, people would be like, uh, "I'm so and so's DJ." Yeah. He was like, you ain't got, because I used to call him, like, can I put Starlito DJ on? He's like, bro, why you want to put that on there? Like, you're DJ Coop. Just like in the prime example he gave me, he was like, DJ Drama is DJ Drama. He's not T.I.'s DJ. Yeah, he's DJ Drama. Yeah, so that's where, that's where I got it. Like, when I. So Starlito kind of growed you up a little bit. Shout yeah. out to Starlito. <laughs> yeah, so you know, this is like, the first nigga that gave Coop something that I know of. So I'm <laughs> you know saying, like, that, yeah. it just, you right. Facts. So this one slept on, and I'm going to grab my own shit. I'm going to promote my own part. I'm going to do my own everything. Right. right. You're exactly right. I'm DJ Coop. <laughs> DJ Coop. Well, no. DJ. <laughs> <laughs> but my top five, Starlito. Top star, Starlito. Eddie Valero. Okay. I like that because you, you, really, you really like these people. You know what Don I mean? Don Tripp. Trip. Ooh, Trip. I don't fuck with Trip. Juvenile. Juvenile. I would say um, DMX. That's what my top five is. Because I've encountered all these people, so it's like. This is the thing. thing this is why I respect it, what you said, because Coop, you are actually a. Uh, this what the, Coop don't care who you is. He gonna you you are the, a tell the truth person. That's what they don't like about you. That's why that's what I like about you. You know what I mean? Because you just Coop just gonna say what you say, but but. That's actually a great top five. You know what I'm saying? Even though everybody might not know everybody that was on there, but when he's talking about rap, Don Tripp, Starlito, everybody who you said is in that 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 category of being mm. that artist. You know what I'm saying? And so, cool, man. Look, man. Um, this was good. This was a pleasure. <laughs> Cause I, got there, I told my nigga, I said, God damn, we got coop ass tonight. I said, what I tell you? Oh, I said, we got him. Get what I said. Then, oh, I said, is coop coming? I said, shit. I said, yeah, he ain't text. I said, he coming. I said, he, I said, if he, he wasn't coming, he would have texted earlier that day. You know what I mean? Let me know. And, but man, I appreciate I you, man. I, I like what y'all doing and it's, okay. it's done right. Okay. So that's, that was the one thing and y'all like running it right. And y'all, y'all not biased to nothing. Facts. And I like to do stuff like that to where, it's, I was gonna ask you that. I was gonna ask you like, how is, is this platform appreciated to you? You know to what I mean? Like yeah, on your level, you know what I mean? It's done, hey, I mean, okay. necessarily my level is is done right. So like, what I'm saying, you a you a person that that you like good stuff. You yeah, know what I'm saying? If I when don't feel like content, I I've, I've done interviews with on upcoming. No, nah, though my people shout uh. The zip I love Mike off the porch. That's just one of my, and only reason I want to bring that up because I want to give them some props. Like that's one of my favorite platforms. You know what I yeah. mean? Like when it comes to doing a long this, time ago. Didn't yeah, it? When it comes to doing this though, like like you a DJ, you got your favorite DJ. Like I got my favorite. Like Gilly is my favorite. That's my top. He my Shout top to person. Pod. Gilly is my top person podcast. Mm -hmm. Gilly, and then like off the porch, and I like drink champs. I went drink, talk drunk shit live. And so we got a certain respect for the people who do what we do. You know what I mean? Sure. So that's why, I, you know what I mean? Like, when I saw you on the porch, I was like, Coop nah. out of here. You <laughs> nah, know what I mean? I mean, I just, I just, I, I respect it. And y'all, like I said, y'all doing it right. It's the, the right look. It's the right content. It ain't too messy. Facts. To where it's like, it's just a, some drama shit that niggas want to go in here and shit on nobody. Yeah, facts. But it's just, I fuck with it. And anybody just doing something positive and trying to make a name for themselves, I'm supportive. <laughs> if you're alive, subscribe. Get what? Y'all finna be mad again because Coop <laughs> came to if you're alive, subscribe. You know, so sure. it is what it is. Man, uh, I always, I want to uh, shout out my boy O, um, my business partner. We like 50-50 on everything. Like, we don't sure. care. Like, 
I got a show, it's 50 50. And I want to um, thank him for just being like the good person. Like, cool, we don't meet too many good people that's just solid these days, you know what I'm saying? And like, we dealing with these people that they this one day, this one day. He ain't like that. I'm, I ain't like that. You like this. You know what we getting. You know what for I mean? Sure. That's why I like you. Uh, uh, for we for we dip out here. If you're last subscribe, I like cool because I know what I'm getting. Now, <laughs> if you're last subscribe, 